Alright. Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome back to presumably the finale of Grow Up. Uh, might have to be filmed over several days as I get the last couple of things. Looks like we might have a pod challenge all... <gasps> this might be the last pod challenge. Really? Yeah, looks like it. And I also know where a telerouter is. Yeah, this is the last pod challenge I haven't done yet. Can't believe I missed this pod challenge. It's probably got to be one of the first ones you do. Probably just wants me to go across the li lily pads or something. Comically easy. Well, I guess this is. Oh, geez. This might be a little bit more um, involved than I thought it was going to be. Gives me a lot of time to do it, though. But hey, you know, not, I'm not. I'm not going to complain about comically easy. Oh, mom's okay. That's funny. He's scripted to say this stuff. Oh. He's scripted to say this stuff kind of at the time. He's like, I hope mom's okay. It's like, dude, we just saved her. Short-term memory much? I guess that's kind of the point. Okay, don't want to fall in the water. I may be wildly overpowered for this, but that doesn't mean I'm immortal. Okay, and we're good. So what skin do we have? The aviator skin. Okay, a suit crafted to deliver nothing but speed whilst looking astonishing, astonishingly cool. Wait, somebody said there was a cat suit. What is this? Guess not. Alright, so we got the aviator skin. <laughs> oh. Damn. Alright, uh, where's that thing I was going for? It's all the way over here, so we need to turn around. So we now, this combined with infinite, um... Infinite energy means I'm gonna be able to go stupid fast. Let me see, there it is. You know, somebody said there was totally a cat suit that you could get for this. I'm finding that hard to believe considering I've got literally every skin in the game now. And none of them prevent fall damage. Luckily there's bald mode, so it doesn't matter. But still. Oh. Okay, gonna have to make sure that this one... It's, it's lower down here. Back at the first island? Nope. Pink back, there it is. The nice thing is, now that we've got this extra speed, the last couple of crystals are gonna be pretty easy. Especially because they seem to all be localized around this, or two of them. There it is. There's the next. Two out of three of them were right here. So does that mean we might actually be done completionism-wise in like a couple of seconds? Because it's all the way up there. We got some group of asteroids up here that apparently have a, uh, a telerider on them. I'm crossing my butt. My butt cheeks. That we've got the last crystal up in here, and if we don't, I'm going to be kind of sad. Well, yeah, we're not getting a reaction. That sucks. So is there literally just a Telerider up here for miscellaneous reasons? It's frustrating. Because that means we have one miscellaneous crystal hiding somewhere around here. And by around here, I mean on this entire planet. I guess I was supposed to use this as a Telerator as a, like, this Telerator as, like, a midway point for, uh, can we have some trouble here? You know, midway point when we were going up that final, final approach. Not that that was really a big deal. Okay. What are you doing? He's like, he's stuck. It's really strange. Okay, teletastic. So that's all of the tel telerouters. However, not our crystal. So at this point, now I just fly around and look for, look for stuff. 
And by look for stuff, I mean hope, hope against hope that I somehow just get a ping. A little blip on the radar. That's all we need. This is the one thing I hate about collectathons. The last one, especially when it's something like ambiguous, and ha you know, I mean, there's 150 crystals. Out here. How am I gonna find it? No idea. I'm just glad I have the... the aviator skin. That's going to make traversing so much easier. Okay, doesn't look like it's around here. Honestly, it's probably close to the ground. Maybe we do that first. Hang out down here. It's nice to just go around. I'm also just halfway tempted to just skip ahead, seeing as we don't have much left. The only problem is that would make this a really short episode. Because, yeah, I still have the screwing around to do. But I'm not entirely sure how much I want to screw around. Like, the screwing around made a lot of sense in, um... In Grow, Grow Home, just because it was a very linear game. This one's kind of larger. I guess we could do the screwing around. And then, um... Uh... You know, screw around and hope we get a reaction while we're screwing around. It's a temptation. We still haven't seen anything yet. I was expecting it would be on this one, because this is like the original... This is the original plant. Then it went up. But no, I was... freaking thorough. Okay, so if it's not this one... I guess we can go for the cactus? No, this is this is the other one. Okay. Cuz it's got to be in one of these biomes I haven't touched yet. The issue is I don't know how high or low it's going to be. Like the last one we could kind of just float around and look. Cuz we knew mostly where it was going to be. This one we have no no clue and it's not a linear environment. It's a big old circle, sphere. My bad. And that means I have to watch that corner like a hawk. Huh. Honestly, don't remember coming through here. In the what? The devil? Oh, this is the volcano. Ain't it? Yeah, this is the volcano. Okay. I was just confused. Yeah, I do not recognize that section we just went through. Um, well, we can go check the mushrooms. Still haven't had a whole lot of reactions. I swear it was going to be on the bottom, but no dice. Uh I don't want to give up, but kind of tempting. Is this the hole I've already been to? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. I guess I could always fly in a straight line across. And nothing. Ah! Well, that's inconvenient. I got it. I got it. It was actually really easy, sort of. What I decided to do was, uh... Oh, guess it's this way. Or... It's just down below me. What I decided to do, the easiest way to do it... Oh, it's in this pole, isn't it? Yeah, it's down here somewhere. I figured the easiest thing I could possibly do... To get this to work, teleport from place to place to place, over and over and over again. One of them would have to be within range, right? I guess that's what I thought. 
No, it's not here. Is it in this section? Is it up here? Nope, not up here. It's up here? No. Okay, let's respawn. Yeah, so it has something to do with this area. Where even am I? You know what? I'm gonna make a mark on me right now. Figure we'll find out. I really wish I could almost fine tune this. Could be over here? Nope. I'm kind of grasping at straws. It's, on, it's over here somewhere. I just don't have a clue. If we can get it up to three, four, there it is. That's it. Right down there. Somebody probably spotted that and is like yelling at the monitor furiously, or was. Probably a long time ago. All right, so battery's been maxed out, bud. Now we can throw away that charging station. And we're done. We have nothing else holding us down. We can do whatever we want. We have 100%ed grow home. I'm really disappointed I can't Immelman in this game. Like, real disappointed. But at the same time, Whatever. God, it is so fun driving this thing around. Okay, so let's go find a... Uh, go find a plant. Let's see which one it would it be. I have no idea. So, interesting point about this game. You can kind of litter it with stuff. Everything I believe is persistent, or at least a lot of the stuff is. Unless they changed it. I don't know about the floor forms. Can't talk about that one. But, like, over here, I think, was it is a perfect example. Okay. So, uh, one of the cool, coolest part is, you know, all those, like, tentacles that we've set, set off. I call them tentacles, but I'm, I don't know. Anyway. If I can not screw it up. What I can do, grab a hold of this, just let it go. And I can do that constantly. Now, what's the point of this, you may ask? The answer is it makes the world into a giant mess. A giant, really fun to con uh, fly through mess. So what I'm going to do is just activate as many of these star fruits as I possibly can. And they go for quite a while, by the way. Just gotta find the next pillory thing. Oh, there's one. Might immediately run into its brethren, but still. If that's the case, that's the case. Oh, really? This one's too close. Or maybe that one ran out a while ago, and that was like one of my original starts. I have no idea. But yeah, the nice thing is, the other nice thing is you can actually just leave them. Like, going. And they actually make really nice organic forms. Uh, like, you know, they look pretty cool. They usually loop around each other. They lag the game something fierce. And that's okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm choosing this one just because it was the nicest looking of all of the uh, star plants. Like, all the other ones are nice, but, like, this one, this one definitely takes, takes cake. I don't know how much cake. Some variety of, uh, variation on, on value here. But it just, it looks pretty when the sun sets and stuff like that. And, yeah, if I wanted to go insane, I just let this go for a while. I'm not sure how much I want to do it. I kind of want to just fill space in this, uh, in this episode, seeing as, you know, it's, it's fun to dick around a little bit. Um, and just see what we can get into. Might be one of those where I even come back to this later. This would be really fun in multiplayer. 
I mean, that's true of, like, a lot of games, but, like, just imagining exploring a world with, like, a whole crew of buds is just such an attractive prospect to me. Uh, but that's true for, like, a lot of games. Like, they don't need multiplayer. They probably even shouldn't have multiplayer. But if they had multiplayer, they would just be so much better. I'm looking at you, Fallout. I'm looking at you, Grow Up, Grow Home, Grow Whatever, Grow Somewhere. Like, Grow With Friends would be awesome. And it would just be, like, a blast to play. Uh, what other games can I think of that are great? I mean, I would love to play, like, a Zelda game. Like, you know, just, like, Twilight Princess multiplayer. They already kind of did it with the Hyrule Warriors, though I don't think that really counts. Uh, but, you know, like, the demand is there. I just, kn I know it's extra, I know it's extra effort. Oh, did I die? No, I didn't. Okay. I know it's pushing it there a little bit with my velocity. Oh, that was it. Am I... Am I getting it? Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I'm growing plants here. Whoops. Well, whatever. Not like it really matters. But yeah, notice how this thing is, like, much more, like, invasive. Honestly, I should have been doing this from the get-go. Whenever I grow one of these things, just... Let it go. I wonder if it actually would have, um... I wonder if it actually would have hit the, um... Islands eventually if I just let them loose. That's an interesting question. I don't have an answer for that. Love to have one, actually. That'd be really sweet. Let me see. What else do we got around here? We've got tons. Like, I haven't even, like, come close to tapping how much we can extend this plant out. It's just, you know, after a certain point, we gotta stop and just say, "Yeah, that's probably enough." Wander. You don't, you don't need any more of these poor, poor plants. I don't even know which way's down sometimes when I'm doing this. It gets really disorienting because of how many plants I've got growing, but that's okay. Also, halfway tempted to uh, just grow a ton of floor forms on this, because what I kind of want to do is grow this up like real tall. Uh, let's see. Grow this up, like, kind of stupid tall. And then throw a bunch of those, like, bounce things on them. And then, uh, just, like, drop myself in ball mode. That could be fun. We're actually getting kind of close to the top. But, yeah, look at this thing. Way more impressive now that I've... Now that I've played God and made this thing, like, ginormous. Did I... I don't think I died. I don't know. Hard to tell. Yeah, the, the problem is this is going to be a lot of work to get this thing to be as substantial as I'd like it to be. Because back in, uh, back when I was playing Grow Home, you know, the, the plant was already like this giant, twisting, massive insanity. Uh, that I could, really wish I could actually turn off the, uh, growth cutscene. But yeah, the, the plant was already a, just a giant, massive, twisting nonsense uh, by default because I had I had to do that to progress in the game. This one, you pretty much get the ability to fly almost immediately with that, like... I mean, with the fact that your jetpack charges while you're, uh... while you're idling. Or, while you're... I guess, just gliding. And the problem is, that means I had very little to do with star plants. I was kind of bringing that up like an episode or two ago. That like, yep. Star plants were such a critical part of the previous game that now that they aren't, it's like bewildering. It's not terrible, it's just like, huh, not used to this. Really not. It's okay though. It's still fun. It's still real pretty. So yeah, I don't know. If you guys if you guys want me to keep doing this sort of thing, I can. 
I probably am only going to do it for like half an hour or an hour more. Kind of depending. Uh, it's just one of those where... Oh, I also planted a plant. Well, that's fun. Uh, it's, it's one of those where I always have an infinite number of games to play, so it's like time. Time is hard. Maybe it'll be something where... Yeah, maybe we'll just give it a bit of a break and I'll come back to it. I don't know. I'll think about it. Because it's, it's... It's fun. It's fun goofing my way through this entire process. It's just also... I don't know what people want. It's also one of those where after a certain point I just kind of like get into this zen mode of just like... Commentary is hard. Let's not commentate anymore, which is super bad. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to be in that position, especially as a let's player. So let's let's get like one or two more. I'm trying to go up the main stock to to kind of spread out the the expansion. It's actually making it a little bit easier to figure out what's going on too. Okay, but yeah, I want I want to spread out the main expansion. And then just drop from a uh, high space in uh, in ball mode. Just kind of careen and bounce my way down the entire way. Which would be really fun. I think. Seeing as I don't remember ball mode being a thing. Oh, I was inside. I was wondering. It's like, where am I? Uh, but yeah, I don't remember ball mode being a thing in, uh, in Grow Home. Hang glider definitely was, though it wasn't a hang glider, it was a leaf that you could break, which sucked. I guess, no, now that I think about it, there there was there was parachute mode, which is separate. But I don't think there was ball mode, there was just like two things you could put in your backpack. And if the leaf broke, you were kind of in trouble, because you'd have to go find another one somewhere. Yeah, I remember now. It's been a while. I actually really should look up when Grow Home came out. Because, like, my sense of time with Let's Playing is so skewed, I literally cannot remember when it was. I want to say it was almost like... It was two years ago, wasn't it? Because I played this back when I barely had any viewership on, like, Twitch. Then again, I don't think I've actually streamed more than one episode of this series. I've been busy. And I've mostly just been streaming multiplayer stuff lately. I don't know. People get cranky when I don't have my friends around. Which is good, because I get cranky when I don't have my friends around. It's easier to take nice long breaks. Though it would be nice. Oh, did I die there? No, I didn't die there. At some point... what? Uh, something along the way here is gonna get me killed. Maybe. Probably not. I don't think plant growing through robot makes any sense. But I guess... Then grow up. It's not fatal. Okay, so we gotta be close to the top now. We gotta be. I'd be tempted to ex expand these out, like, more than I have been. The only reason why I'm not is just because it's time-consuming. And, like, it would make it, like, stretch out in really neat and interesting ways. But, uh... It would also take forever. And I'd prefer to just make a really, really tight rat's nest around here. There we go. Guess I've got some other things I can do, like... I wonder if I can fill the, uh, volcano up entirely. Probably. There's probably some dumb nonsense I can do along the way here. How much further do we have? Oh no, we're at the we're at the very tippy top. That was none of the things I was trying to do. Okay, here we go. It's weird that the uh Oh. I made a mistake. There we go. Okay. Let's go into this. Let's switch to something a little bit less Obnoxious. What do we what do we like? I like these. These are fun. I don't really know what this does. Let's go with these. These are always fun. Maybe a little bit less useful than certain other ones, but I'll I'll take him.
Oh, shit. I did not realize I could... Oh. I did not know I could throw that many. Okay, hold on. Blood suits, blood tentacle. Go back. Yes, yeah, so we don't go as fast as the aviator one. But if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, look at all of them go. This is dumb. Look at look at all of those. They're huge. Okay, let's switch to something even bigger. So we got these, which are large. We got these. Let's go back to these. I did not know you could rapid throw plants. Oh, jeez. I... Oh, man. This is dumb. This is dumb nonsense. Oh, we have to do something stupid to the moon. Like, look at this. Look at what I just did. This place is like sort of cancer. Well, if I'm going to be doing this... No, I'm not going to be doing that way. There we go. I don't know if we got any bugs nearby, but it's okay. Yeah, so the neat thing is... Uh, the neat thing is we can rapid-fire plants out. That's got potential written all over it. Yeah, look at, look at this twisting mess of nonsense and whatnot. Okay, the last thing... The last thing I'm gonna do... Fire myself into the water, actually. Hey! Poor bud. Bug. Whatever. Okay, so let's, uh, let's teleport back up to the mom ship. We are going to, um... Oh, wait. Let's see, this is gonna take a little while. Let's go to the moon. Switch back to the aviator, just because it's a bit faster. Oh, that... That face... That thing's in the way of my face! Okay, we want to get in the way of this. Huh. I thought that would actually, uh... I thought that would actually, uh... What am I trying to say? Oh yeah, there's my handiwork. All the way over there. I thought that would actually, like, give me a fast... Fast track to the moon. Guess not. I guess we'll have to use this. I don't know if there's an achievement for falling really, really far, really, really fast. But I'm gonna do it. Yeah, currently we're in outer space, so it doesn't matter so much. But eventually... We're going to careen into the ground at very high velocities. I wonder if... I guess we can check as we fall. Oh, wait, no, it pauses the game, whatever. I want to take a look at... Uh, I just want to take a look at the uh, the Achievos before we go. Okay, so we've got... Orbit the entire planet in ball mode. Huh. Plant ten champlains on top of each other. Take a critter to the moon. Ride two sparkids simultaneously for 400 meter. Complete a challenge holding a critter. Throw 100 seeds while gliding. Discover the letter block P. And discover the bull and the sheep. Okay, so the bull and the sheep I might do. I'll probably look that up. Yeah, you can see my like horrifying monstrosity of a plant over there on the left. Looks pretty sweet. If I wanted to, I could cover the entire plant in its vines. But after a while, performance would be... Probably so bogged down, it wouldn't even be worth it. But yeah, there is... There's no penalty. Or there's no, um... There's nothing... Uh, in relating... In related to, like, fall from the moon or whatever. Which is kind of a shame. Also, I'm Superman. Except for, you know, I have to pull out a hang glider to fly. I guess I do have a jetpack. But I don't think Superman ever had a jetpack. And if he did, why? Why would Superman need a jetpack? You know what? I bet there's actually an action figure for that. Oh! Ooh, okay. 
Let's see what happens if we ball up like right here. Huh. Not bad. Not great. One way or another. See you guys in the next episode of Grow Home. And by Grow Home, I mean Grow Up. And as always, thanks for watching.